will I ever like not be tired in these intros of vlogmas vlog trips clips I just love this makes my hair crazy so I'm gonna keep doing it after that anyway um where are we going paranoia and that drives me crazy okay today 10 31 Saturday December 18th that's today today I might leave the house mm, we will both be pleasantly surprised if I do it's very tempting to just stay indoors and be lazy um, but yeah I don't really know what today will bring I have some ideas want to be creative kind of want to do self-care things um, should leave the house maybe errands maybe exercising out of shape um, something might be good for me uh, might feel very accomplished but it's also nice knowing like I don't have to do any of these things like as a student during the semester you have to be in class you have to do the assignments you have to go to practicums but like everything is an option now okay anyway very exciting update for you. I am going to go on a little adventure and go back to my old house like two homes or two moves ago because we've moved in the past two years like three times I guess um, but yeah people are still using our old address like sending their things to us for us at our old address like Christmas cards and then in this case one of my good friends sending me a birthday slash Christmas gift and so gonna go pick that up very exciting and this is what happens in my little town because it gets cold here so the cold has finally hit officially we got snow so there's my very exciting update Look at this baby, being so good in between pictures, maybe not really during pictures, <laughs> no we're just kidding, it's a good little buddy, just came on my lap to say hi, such a good baby. Mm. So this is literally the reason as to why I thought to do Vlogmas this year. I almost called it like Vlogmas. Anyway, I saw these in Walmart. I was out and about with my cousin. We went to Walmart just to pick up some things. And of course I left with these, something I did not intend on buying. But they're like these dog treats, like Christmas cookie biscuit things. There's nine of them. And I know that Christmas is only a week away as of today. So maybe he'll be extra spoiled one day, maybe today. But there's reindeer, Santa, and I think that's a tree. I think those are the types they have. Oh my god, a breath. Um, so cute. And I just kept forgetting because they're actually, they were behind my mirror. So I'll have them out. More easy access. So we'll see if he likes them. I just went downstairs and saw that he's eating. So, but then again, he's always hungry. Okay. 
Everyone, all eyes on Daxton, please. This is his moment. Okay, Dax, come here. Okay, ready? Oh, he's excited. Oh, Daxton, ready? Do I put it like in his dish? See what he does? I don't know. Okay, ready? Oh, no. <laughs> well, it's food, so he's eating it. Maybe. <laughs> he doesn't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Santa, right. bye bye. Thank you guys. <laughs> it is actually going to take him days to eat it. Hard as a rock. A little golden hour thrifting. a successful trip yeah four things in my price range <laughs> I brought $20 and I was like I will not go back out to my car I will not use my card it will be $20 or less and it was like 1908 so um haul when I get home yeah <laughs> Hey guys, so I just got back home from the thrift store slash track, and that's my family. I apologize for the background noise. Actually, I don't want to say that. I don't apologize for my family, even though they're crazy, but they're great. Um, anyway, so back to this place. Desert Industries, and I don't know why I'm holding it like that. Okay. Um, yeah, and I already took everything out of the bag and it's hanging out on my bed, which is kind of gross because thrifted items need to be cleaned and whatever. Um, oops. Okay, so 1908. Pretty good. Pretty good. I like how the receipt just came back to me. Um, maybe it's like a hint, like, hello, you spent money on stuff you don't need. Return me my 
don't know if you can return at that place. I don't pay attention. Or maybe it's like a like a trade. Well, I'm trying to think what it's called. What's it called? Exchange. <laughs> okay. So I did try this on for you as well as something else, which I will get to, which will be the grand finale. So this it's a little cropped sweater and it's got that trend. I don't know if it's dead by now, but it's got this butterfly orange and yellow. And I love it. It's like the fuzzy type of material. My head's probably chopped off. But it's just a fuzzy crop sweater with a butterfly detail. And it's really, really cute. It'll look cute with these leggings. Um, of course, after I move out and everything, I can wear them and do what I want. So that guy's there. Um, the gold pants. So I hate pants. I don't like pants. I will wear sweats, pajama bottoms. Did I say sweats? I avoid pants, but yet I've been buying what I think to be like comfy pants that I could wear to class. Um, instead, I always resort and refer back to like the same ones, but floral ones. I always check for floral pants at the thrift store. So I finally found them. These are great. They're like kind of muted colors, but still they have like a colorful rainbow, a black background. It's a really comfy material and it's kind of like jogger because it's like cinched, pretty baggy and loose. Um, the waistband is slightly stretchy and then it has these like tassels you can tie with like a silver detail. So really, really good. Oh, by the way, this is Shein. I don't think I've ever owned anything from them. Um, I've heard some bad things about that brand. I don't feel as bad because it's thrifted, you know, I don't know. Um, this is Buffalo David Biden, Bitten, I think. Um, so yeah, really excited about these guys. And this is how I'm going to wear them. Okay, moving on. Oh, prices. I'm so good at this. This just goes to show, like, I haven't been buying clothes, have I? I forgot how it looks to show and call. Four dollars. Four dollars. And these were impulsive, um, also four dollars, and these are actually Target. So this is Mazumo. That tag is terrible. I think they changed it. I think that's Mazumo, right? Um, I don't like the tag anymore. I'm not the boss. It's just very hard to read. It might not even be Mazumo. Anyway, um, so they're slightly too big. I might have to like roll them down a little bit if that makes sense. Just the way it fits. Um, but there is dark chocolate brown, almost black, all the lace, slightly flared at the bottom. They seem like business-like, I don't know, kind of like dressy but casual. Will I wear them? I really don't know, but it's good to have an option. So for sure those first two pieces, one after I move out, <laughs> um, the other, like honestly every day all the time. And I think the colors are good for even this time of year, like you can wear a sweater to make it more winter, cool, weather, you know? Um, I do want to wear the brown. I'll, I'll try my best to incorporate that in my wardrobe, you know? But this, okay, I've seen a dress like this, I swear. I think I saw it like a bridesmaid dress or like an old prom dress from like 08, like in a magazine. Me and my sister Haley would like drool over wedding dresses, prom dresses, bridal gowns, like, and this, like, I have one now. I hope I didn't get a little stick on it. Okay, anyway, so it's so pretty, and I was so impressed. Okay, you see this? It's got imperfections. Somebody did this themselves, and then, where is it? Obviously, look at this. I mean, I'm so excited about this. I would take a picture like this and have this as my new Facebook profile. I shouldn't because that's just too weird even for me. But look at it. It's beautiful. This is so neat. This is like Barbie on top of a cake. Not just any cake, a wedding cake. Like, I'm so excited. Sleeveless, thick straps, beautiful lace detail. It's thick, almost like crochet. It's a cream with a pink background. The rest of it's this beautiful bubblegum bright pink. A zipper going down but the best part is this bow and the fit is so flattering so be my boo I'm gonna wear this 
he's gonna wear a suit, maybe a tux, I'm so sorry, Chris. Um, <laughs> but imagine the pictures. This, like, a date, like, even, like, a casual date, like, we go to McDonald's, and I hate McDonald's, but just think of the pictures before or after that casual meal, and we go in there like this, and I walk in there like this. <laughs> but I'm so excited, so I'm gonna take a picture, maybe in the snow, with this, and I've been talking for so long. This one was six dollars, and very happy I went to the thrift store today. Somebody could have got this, but they wouldn't have enjoyed it as much as me. Go. Excuse me. Now I gotta put this away. And yeah, I hope we were recording. We were, and I was talking for too long. But, um, at the sniffles now, I ran too hard. <coughs> okay. guys so time to end off the vlog before the camera dies and hopefully before the next day comes another late night i know 11 55 saturday december 18th but not for long yes another late night and my mom hasn't been able to really sit down all day so she wants to watch something and i haven't really been able to spend time with her today there's just been a lot going on and so i might be with her for a little bit just watch something together and also eat my feelings. I really eat a lot at night and it helps me gain weight. Not the healthiest, but anyway, anyway, anyway. Um, let's see if I can get this done before 12. Um, yeah, so I'm in the sweater, the sweater, a Christmas sweater, an ugly one. But this is like a cute, ugly Christmas sweater. See? Um, anyway, so we know what that means. Well, I guess it could mean a lot of things like I just threw on a Christmas type of sweater. But um, it meant that we did the tree more. Um, specifically, we, uh, I hate my stutter sometimes. We, de de we decorated the tree. <laughs> there we go. Words are hard sometimes. Um, anyway, <laughs> I'm just, I have to embrace it and not be scared of the stutter. But um, I don't really stutter that much anymore. It's just randomly. But so now you know that I stutter. If you didn't know that before, it's kind of shy. But anyway. We decorated the tree, finally, and it is, what, again, almost the 19th, wow. Um, we did have it up for a while, for a few weeks, but there wasn't any of the fun stuff yet. So we did that, um, it was a lot of fun, so really enjoyed that, I think it was a good time, and it's just fun, the four of us, um, everybody else is like out of the house, married, grown up, you know? So it's just me and my brother at home. Also my grandma here, but she's not involved in things right now because she's sick and she's kind of away from everybody. Um, 
she's just trying to be careful. So anyway, it's going to be a different Christmas, but we're still trying to do activities that bring that Christmas spirit, you know, that excitement and that peace that the time of year hopefully has for everyone. So it's still going to be a good, a good one this year. Um, but yeah, tomorrow's Sunday. Gonna go to my parents' church, not church with people my age because like no one's there right now. Like everybody's gone home and like my friend would be gone, like my really good friend in that ward. Ward is like basically a church time. Like we go at a certain time, so it's called like a ward, like the group of people who go at that time. Anyway. Um so yeah. And I'm getting excited for next year. This year has been like so good except for my anxiety, but in the sense of my goals coming true and my accomplishments coming to pass that's been great my anxiety's been awful <laughs> but i've still been able to do so much despite it and i just wonder next year like how i can top that um i've been talking for too long this video will be too long my camera's gonna die i'm gonna die i'm so tired um anyway so, I'm tired. I'll leave you a little thing, <laughs> words. Um, I don't want to be repetitive or boring. Oh, my mom, she called me a nerd today. Well, I was like kind of asking for it. Like I actually did ask her like flat out, like, mom, am I a nerd? And she told me you're a happy nerd. So I'm a happy nerd. Um, I don't know if she meant it like, nerd awkward that type or nerd like a know-it-all or nerd like there's another one too especially like you're a nerd in an activity or a hobby or an interest or something like you know a lot about it, you care a lot about it like you're obsessed and that's how i think she views me and stuff like this like pictures photography vlogging videos recording my life you know things like that but anyway um that's that would be the thought be a nerd in at least one thing. Find like your thing. Nothing has to define you, but I think if you have something that you can go to, like your go-to, like an activity or something in your free time or something on the side, something that brings you peace and joy and it makes you sincerely, genuinely content, something that takes you out of the stress of your day, your week, your life, you know? Having that thing can really bless and help you and it can serve other people because it can inspire. You know, like I love to write and I got my book out there a few months ago and I received positive things like nice words and other people have said like it really is a cool story and that they've learned things from it. So that's just one example, but find your thing, do it for you. And if it just so happens to affect other people or like impact them for good, that's cool too. But especially, and I'm like, it's the battery, okay? That's why I'm like staring strangely through this mirror, like through the camera. Anyway, um, yeah, I'll hurry. Um, yeah, just do it for you because this life is your life and you need to do things that will help you reconnect with yourself and reflect on your life and just enjoy and just be. Okay, 12.01. <gasps> I have to go.